Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be. But you don't know where to begin. You have come to the right place as you listen to The Bright Side every day. You are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years, of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls on the bright side. We are your go-to source for common sense health information, easy to understand health and nutrition information. 844-236-6010 is our number. We want to help you wean yourself off your prescription drugs. If you are dealing with a health challenge that, or you or a loved one is dealing with a health challenge that you find intractable, that the medical model has told you you're going to be dealing with the rest of your life, let us help you. Let us help you see how easy it can be to reverse chronic degenerative diseases of all kinds. It is in the body's nature to reverse chronic degenerative diseases. It is not a miracle. It seems like a miracle, but it's not a miracle. And we could show you how that's done. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, skin health products, skin health challenges you, you or a loved one may be dealing with, 844-236-6010 is our number. And of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, we love hearing success stories, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. I'm on a mission, folks, and I need help. I'm on a mission to help revolutionize healthcare. That's my personal mission. Nobody has to have a chronic degenerative disease. Nobody. It is tragically unnecessary. And I'm on a personal mission. I'm on a per this is my, the reason I get up in the morning, the reason I do this program, the reason I travel around the country. And by the way, I'll be in Chicago tomorrow uh, at the Armada Hotel right outside Chicago in uh, in Glendale Heights, Illinois, zip code 60139. If you're going to GPS it, 70, 780 North Avenue, I'll be doing a talk on, uh, on health and nutrition, showing you how simple and how easy the, new, uh, the longevity program, nutritional supplementation, reversing health challenges can be. We did a wonderful talk last Saturday in, uh, Ar in uh, uh, what was it called? Aubrey, Texas, or Denton, Texas, right outside Dallas. And when, it was wonderful. We had a good time, about 100, 150 people there. And we'll be doing another talk tomorrow. I don't get paid for these talks, folks. I do this because it's my personal mission. I want to educate the planet about how important a nutritional supplement program can be, how irrelevant and how, tragic, how tragically unnecessary uh, degenerative disease and how tragically unnecessary the medical model is for reversing, how impotent the medical model is for reversing chronic degenerative disease. And I need help. I need you to help me on this mission. I can't do it by myself. If you help me out by calling the Longevity, uh, Longevity uh, uh, Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, not only will you be helping change the world, not only will you, will you be helping me in my personal mission, but you can make some money at the same time. And that's the way we should make money, by making a difference, by helping, 
by improving lives. 866-735-2470. That's the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. If you want to check out our bone broth products, please head over to brightsidehealth.com. Bone broth protein powder, chocolate, and vanilla. And if you want to check out our high-end premium Truth Skin Health products made with 100% active and functional ingredients, go to truthtreatments.com. Truth treatments.com. All right, we're talking about one of the all-time great healthy eating protocols, the so-called ketogenic diet, the eat fat, lose weight diet, the high fat brain health diet, the high fat heart health diet, the high fat anti-diabetic diet, the high fat anti-cancer diet. What more do you want from a way of eating? What more do you want from a, a diet program? If you want to go ketogenic, there's a couple things you got to keep in mind. For one thing, and this is really important, High fat does not mean high calories. Yes, it's true. You've got twice as many calories in fat as you do in protein and in carbs. You've got about four calories per gram per uh, gram of protein, four calories per gram of carbs. You've got nine calories per gram of fat. So you've got more than twice as much energy out of fat than you do from carbs and protein. And if you don't, don't take this into account and you just eat a lot of fat and eat a lot of calories, you're not going to get the benefits of the ketogenic diet. The idea of the ketogenic diet is proportion. It's the proportion of fat that's high, not the amount of fat that's high. See the difference here? You want a percentage, a higher percentage of your calories to come from fat, but that doesn't mean you want a lot of calories to come from fat. That's a mistake people make when they think about the ketogenic diet. They think they can eat a lot of fat. It's not that you eat a lot of fat. It's that you eat a high proportion of fat. Calorie restriction, in fact, should go hand in hand with the high fat diet, with the ketogenic diet. It's this combination of calorie restriction and then the calories you do get of the calories you do get, a high percentage should be fat, uh, fat calories. Say 60 to 70% of your calories should come from fat. If you're going true ketogenic, if you're doing the, the medical ketogenic diet, you're going 90% of your calories from fat. I say 60 to 70%. I call it the modified ketogenic diet. Not the true ketogenic diet, the medical ketogenic diet, the modified ketogenic diet. And I've been talking about it for decades. I first heard about it in pharmacy school. I first started using it in pharmacy school when I was in my 20s. So anyway, 60 to 70% of your calories come from fat, maybe 20 to 30% from protein, maybe 10 to 20% from carbs, but the total number of calories should be low, and this is very important. Low calorie, calorie restriction. How low? It's not really about the numbers. Don't pay attention to the numbers. It's about listening to your body. It's about eating only when we're hungry, and I know that sounds obvious, but unfortunately, while it sounds obvious, to only eat when we're hungry, most of us, including me, we don't eat just to satisfy our physical hunger, we eat to satisfy our mental hunger. This is the big problem. This is behind our obesity epidemic, is the fact that we eat mentally. We're mentally hungry way more often than we are physically hungry, and I'm speaking for myself here too. I notice it myself. Even worse, while physical hunger can be shut off with a few bites, or at least a very small amount. Mental hunger is very difficult to satisfy. The nature of the mind is to never be satisfied. That's a whole lesson right there. That's a whole show right there. The mind is never satisfied. The nature of the mind is its voraciousness. The mind is rarely satisfied, if ever. And that, in a nutshell, explains our obesity epidemic. It, ex it explains why weight loss is so difficult. We're not listening to the signals that are coming from our body. It explains why we're addicted to food. In fact, it explains all addiction. If you are addicted to cigarettes, try listening to your lungs. Try listening to your body before you have that cigarette. And you'll probably override it, but I guarantee you, your lungs and your body will say, please do not smoke. But we'll override it because of the nature of the mind. Our mind is so much more powerful than our, than our body. It reminds me of a bodybuilder or a weightlifter who's got this huge upper body and huge biceps and huge chest and tiny little skinny chicken legs. You ever seen that? That's, that's, that's us. We got this super well-developed mind and brain and then our body's not so much. We have this incredibly responsive body, but we don't pay any attention to it. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Okay. 
Okay, we are back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number today and every day on the bright side. If you have questions about anything we're, t- we're talking about here today, the ketogenic diet, weight loss, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program or if you have a success story you'd like to share, 866-735-2470 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products, call 866 866- 735-2470. Our number, I apologize, is 844-236-6010. Uh, 866-735-2470 is the phone number for the Brightside Ben phone team. If you want to join the team, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, that's the number to call. If you want to check out some high-end skin health products, go to truthtreatments.com. And by the way, soon you will be seeing my acne supplement, which I've been talking about now for a few months. I've been formulating it for many years, actually. Uh, Blemish Repair Complex. Truth Treatments Blemish Repair Complex. We'll be selling it here probably in a week or two. It's a combination of all the supplements that I recommend people take all in one capsule. Would you want to have, if you have acne, would you want one capsule so you don't have to go to the health food store and and buy vitamin A and NAC and vitamin E and and, uh, chromium and the B complex and vitamin B5? It's all in. It's selenium. It's all in my... uh, blemish repair complex soon you will see it at brightness at uh, truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com and don't worry we'll be talking a lot about blemish repair complex uh, my anti-acne supplement from truth treatment products truthtreatments.com truthtreatments.com okay so got this distinction got this distinction between the brain and the body or the mind and the body and not understanding how to leverage this distinction letting this uh, letting our minds take over for our bodies letting our minds control our bodies is a big problem letting the mind tell the body what to do rather than having the mind listen to the body is behind many of our health challenges certainly many behind our addictions it explains our addiction to food for sure the, uh, because of the relationship between eating and health, it also explains why we're so sick. Because we've, not, uh, we've let the mind become primal over the body, because we're not paying attention to our body's signals, our eating behaviors have gotten messed up and it gets taken advantage of by advertisers and marketers. They take advantage of this. They know that if they uh, can manipulate our minds... Our minds will take over, uh, take over for our bodies. Our minds will do the advertiser's bidding and order our bodies to eat. From the uh, Journal of Pediatrics, study of brain activity shows that food commercials influence children's food choices. Food advertising is a multi-billion dollar industry. And most, uh, a lot of it is aimed at kids. They know if they get you when you're young, They'll have your whole life. According to the study, children and adolescents view between 1,000 and 2,000 advertisements per year. That's 1,000 to 2,000 hypnotic entrancements every year because that's what a commercial is. It's a hypnotic entrancement. And kids are really receptive, especially young kids. They're in what's called the alpha state. The alpha state is a hypnotically suggestible state and the theta state. Do you know that about your kids? You ever notice how you don't remember things when you're really, really young? That's because you weren't conscious at the, at the you didn't, your brain waves weren't working at the conscious level. Your brain waves were working at the alpha and theta levels, which are highly suggestible subconscious levels. And that's one of the reasons why our lives are so messed up when we're adults is because we get programmed when we're young, when we're suggestible. And parents, that's why it's so important to be very careful with everything you say to a child with every look that you give a child, even the look that you give a child will get programmed into his psyche because he's so suggestible. We're all suggestible. Advertisers know how to manipulate us. The ancient Greeks called the mind psyche and they called the body soma. And the relationship between psyche and soma is one of, if not the major keys to understanding health. The best way to leverage the the power of psyche and soma is to allow a mutual interaction, not to have the psyche dominate the soma, but to have the psyche responsive to the soma, to have the mind responsive to the body, to have the mind listening to and respecting signals from the body and then acting accordingly. Unfortunately for most of us, we are trained to ignore the body. 
And this is compounded by the fact that we store pain in our body. Do you know you store pain in your connective tissue? That's right. Traumatic experiences, even emotional traumatic experiences, are stored in connective tissue, literally. So our traumas are stored in our physical nature, and we learn to tune it out. We learn to go into the mind. And this gives the mind too much power. It makes the mind dominant over the psyche. Instead of respecting and, uh, and having mutual respect for the psyche and the soma, the psyche dominates the soma. We're trained this way. We're entranced this way. We don't listen to our bodies. We don't listen to our bodies. If we listened to our bodies, we wouldn't need a doctor. I always, whenever I hear about allergy tests, that just cracks me up. We are so, we are so disassociated from our bodies. We're willing to put our blood in a Petri dish and send it off to some laboratory and have them tell us what's happening in our body from the blood in the Petri dish. They'll put a piece of food in the Petri dish and they'll go, uh, they'll tell us what's happening in our bodies. The only reason we need this done is because we're so disconnected from our bodies. Does this mean you don't need an allergy test? Yes, that's what it means. You're the allergy test. Our bodies are the allergy test. When we learn to listen to our bodies, our bodies will tell us what to do. Do you know your pulse will race after you eat the wrong kind of food? You can do a pulse test. You can just put your darn thumb on your pulse and you can tell if you have a food allergy. But just by doing a pulse test, your pulse will race. It'll, it'll race if you do anything. Put anything in the blood that it shouldn't have. These are signals that are coming from the body that we don't pay attention to. We have this wisdom that's built into our bodies that is so unbelievable. I talked about this with George Norrie the other night. There is an inherent wisdom in the body. It is intelligent and we are paying the price for not listening to this intelligence. We use our powerful mental natures to override the body's signals, the body's lessons, the body's messages, and we pay the price. Next time you have a cigarette or a Snickers bar or a Mountain Dew, or sugar pops, or whatever it is that you do that you know you shouldn't do, whatever it is that you do that your body's rejecting, do it slowly and listen to your body. Unwrap the Snickers bar really slowly, or take the cigarette and put it in your mouth really, really slowly, or open up the Mountain Dew and hold it, hold it uh, or raise it to your lips really, really slowly, and listen to your body as you're raising the Mountain Dew or opening the Snickers bar or, or smoke, about to smoke the cigarette, listen to your body, listen to your lungs, listen to your belly. And I guarantee you, you're going to hear a little voice go, no, just like that. It's going to say, please don't do this. Please don't smoke the cigarette. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat the Snickers bar. Please don't do whatever it is. And you'll also notice your mind will come in and say, shut up. That's what happens. That happens to me. And you know it. If you're out there and you're addicted to something, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Next time, listen to that voice. That voice is the still, small voice. It doesn't lie. The body doesn't lie. The mind does. The mind does very skillfully. The mind is a skillful twister of reality. It's called denial. It's so skillful. The mind is so skillful that we don't even know we're doing it. But the wisdom, that doesn't lie. You can call it the life force, you can call it the still small voice, you can call it chi, you can call it, there's all kinds of names for it, but it lives in the body, not in the mind. I'm Pharmacist Ben, you are listening to The Bright Side, the good news about health and nutrition. We will be back after this break with you and your phone calls, 844-236-6010 is our number. Don't go away, got more good health information on The Bright Side right after this. We are back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Benny. Four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Got lines open for you. If you're on uh, on hold, hang on. We'll get to you here just a moment. I got a couple things I want to talk about. First of all, if you're uh, interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, please go to TruthTreatments.com. And if you uh, are one of the folks who's emailed me or, or talk, I've talked to about our acne supplement blemish repair complex, that'll be out here in a, uh, probably a, maybe two weeks or so on truthtreatments.com. Of course, if you're dealing with acne blemishes, one of the all-time great topical strategies is retinol. Retinol is amazing stuff for the skin. Vitamin A is amazing stuff for the skin. Retinol, retinoic acid. Even Accutane is a toxic form of retinol. It's still, it's still vitamin A. It's a vitamin A derivative. It's an iso. Whenever you hear iso in a chemical, that means kind of, sort of, like, similar. Iso, tretinoin, that's what Accutane is. It's kind of sort of like a vitamin A. But tweak just enough so it poisons your body. This is the, the way drugs work. From the British Journal of Dermatology, another tweaked version of vitamin A called 
Ali tretinoin. Ali tretinoin cuts chronic hand eczema severity. Well, guess what? If Ali tretinoin does it, so does retinol. So does vitamin A. Internal vitamin A is one of the all-time great, great nutritional supplements for the skin and for eczema and for acne. It's a must-have. And of course, it's in our blemish repair complex. If you're dealing with eczema, you have a fatty condition, especially around fatty vitamins and essential fatty acids, also compounded by problems absorbing fats and utilizing fats at the digestive system level. At the intestinal level, fats are absorbed in the intestine. They require pancreatic enzymes. They require fat absorption does, I should say. Requires digestive enzymes. If you're having problems with eczema, get on your ultimate enzymes. Make sure you're using your nightly essence. Probiotic bacteria are ridiculously important for every single thing. They are the found foundation of everything. We talked about eating behaviors. Well, guess what? Do you know your probiotic bacteria talk to your brain and tell your brain to pick the chocolate or the ham sandwich? We eat because of our bacteria. That is, that's amazing to me, is that our eating behaviors are determined by a, a communication, a signal that's coming from our, our, our uh, gut bacteria, our microbiome to our brain. How amazing is that? Bacteria are telling us what to do. I wonder sometimes if they're not the major life form here and we're just a, we're just a as the CIA calls them, use, a useful idiot. We think we're in charge here, but it's the bacteria that are really running the show. I wonder about that sometimes. Anyway, A four four two three six sixty ten is our number. Let's go off to Andre in Oklahoma. Good morning. What's up, Andre? Morning, How you doing? How are you? Welcome to the bright side. I can't hear you though. What about now? Uh, kind of okay. yucky. Get me off. If I'm on speaker, get it off because it's kind of weird. No. no? Andre. Yes. Ah, there we go. Now okay. we're talking. What's up? I don't know what was going on. It wasn't on speaker. But anyway, um, I had a few questions about uh, selenium intake. Okay. Um, do you recommend certain um, dosages, like yeah. maintenance per day for women and men, or is it uh, around the same? Around the same. <clears throat> oh, is there a distinction between men and women, are you asking? Yeah. Uh -huh. No, it's around the same, although it's interesting you say that because selenium is one of the most important uh, estrogen balancing minerals. Of course, women, you know, men make estrogen too, but women obviously make more estrogen. So for women who are dealing with an estrogen problem, uh, you know, they may want to take a little more, like if you have an autoimmune disease or you've got PCOS or you're, high, you're, you're built estrogenically or you have a history of breast cancer. Selenium is not only anti Estro or not, not only balances out estrogen, it's also important for cancer. But I, I would say everybody should be on 400 to 600 micrograms a day, male or female. I don't wow. think it makes too much of a difference. Why? Is that a lot? Uh, I just seen, I was, you know, shopping around, and the most I've seen per pill or serving 200. Uh, was uh, 200. Yeah, that's the most you'll see. So you take four of them. So you take, th not, you take two or three of them. You take two or okay. three of them. Selenium does require bile and digestive juices for its absorption. So take it with okay. food, and if you had a gallbladder removed or you have any kind of bile problem, a liver problem, you may want to make sure you're using uh, perhaps uh, some lecithin granules or the ultimate enzymes or pancreatic enzymes or fermented food with your selenium, all of which will up uh, its absorption. Wow. Make sense? What about in li liquid form? Yeah, that's Liquid's crazy. always better. Liquid's always better. The problem with the liquids is you end up paying for the water and, uh, you know, that's why I, I don't, it's kind of a, you, you got to make your own decision on that. Liquids are always yeah. going to be absorbed better, but if you buy a liquid, you end up paying for a lot of water. Well, would you recommend the same amount of uh, micrograms as well in liquid form? Yeah, that, that would make a difference. It's really a rough approximation. There's no, no, way, no way to know exactly what you need, and probably it varies with, your, with the day or with your menstrual cycle if you're a woman or with uh, toxicity. Selenium is part of the uh, body's detoxification system. So the more drugs you're taking, the, you probably want a higher dose. Doc, Dr. Wally takes a lot of selenium. I don't, I don't recommend as much as he takes, but, yeah. but uh, he takes, I think, a gram a day, 1,000 wow. micrograms a day. I usually stick around 400 to 600 micrograms personally. Okay, that's great. So the minimum, 400, the max. I don't want to give you that cut and dry. In between. Or just in between. Right in there. Yeah, right okay. in that ballpark. Okay. Make sense? All right. All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right, man. Thank you. Have, have a great day. All right. Thanks. Do the thing. All right. All right. Let's go to Bob in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Welcome to the Bright Side, Bob. What's up? 
Hey, good morning, Ben. Love your program. Thank you. I appreciate that. I, uh, you You're know, not Bob, that I, Bob with the itching. Are you Bob with the itching? No, no. no, no itchy me. Bob? All right. Nope. That's another Bob in Minneapolis. Okay, so what, what's going on today? How can we help you? Well, uh, my question is, you know, above, you know, I'm over and above uh, reducing or drastically reducing uh, carbon intake. You know, what over-the-counter supplement can a person take to uh, elevate their glucagon hormone in their body? Other than ins controlling your insulin, well, that's the way you do it, is glucagon and insulin are in balance. More protein. You can do it with, by is using more protein. Just like a, a supplement? You know, there's supplements that support glu glucagon for the listeners uh, who may not uh, know what glucagon is. is an antagonistic hormone to insulin. Insulin is a feeding hormone. Glucagon is a burning hormone. Glucagon is a hormone that helps you uh, use energy. And insulin is a hormone that helps you store energy. So they oppose each other. And what Bob's asking, correct me if I'm wrong, is how do you, how do you burn more energy? How do you, instead of storing energy, how do you burn it? Is that what you're saying? How do you utilize it? How do you, how do you take advantage of it, leverage it, correct? That's correct. Okay. So uh, protein, the ketogenic diet, becoming a fat burner will help. Keeping your insulin down. You know, that's the main strategy. You can use insulin mimetics, things like chromium and vanadium, niacin, which, by the way, is a fat burner, niacin, as, as well as helping, uh, helping support, uh, uh, helping keep your insulin from being produced in high amounts. When we become, over time, we become insulin resistant, the body starts cranking out high amounts of insulin, and that's the problem. And then the glucagon doesn't work. And then we store instead of burning. So what you want to do is anything that, that lowers your insulin, and that's why keeping your sugars down is so important. But also, if you use supplements that mimic insulin, are you with me here, Bob? If you mimic yep. insulin, you don't have to make as much, so or your body doesn't have to secrete as much. Chromium, vanadium, thiamine, niacin, uh, selenium and sulfur, to a certain extent, they work a little bit differently, but they're also important. That's the strategy I would be employing. More protein, although you don't want to go crazy in the protein. You've got to be careful there. And then also more fat, of course, the ketogenic diet. Hope that helps, Bob. Anything else, man? That's it. All right. Take care. Have a great day. All right. Hang tight if you're on hold. We'll get to you when we come back on Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. On the bright side, I am pharmacist Ben, Mary Ann in Ohio. Welcome to the bright side. Good morning. Good morning, Ben. I love your show. Thank you. And I was really happy to hear you address the ketogenic diet because I just gave up on it. I was only on it for two weeks, and I had the keto stick. The keto flu? And Did you get the keto flu? A little bit. Did you yeah. feel crappy? But Did I, you, why did me? you stop? Why did you stop? Well, because I, the keto stick showed that I was in ketosis for a week and a half. But I can't, never lost a pound. And yeah, you never, can't go by that. You, you, you can't go by that. And it does take a couple of weeks for the ketogenesis to kick in, even three okay. weeks sometimes. So you got to go through okay. it. And some people will go through a pe period of feeling crappy. As you're converting from a sugar burner to a fat burner, your body's breaking down a little bit. It's the protein is it's getting sugar from pro it's getting energy from protein and it it's gradual it's not like it's cut there's like a cutoff point but it's gradually you become more and more of a fat burner sometimes it takes two weeks sometimes three uh, so you you got to stick with it a little bit I'm going to talk about that a little bit tomorrow uh, okay. or, or over the next okay. few days actually we're going to stay on the ketogenic diet for a while um, oh, but I would okay. encourage you it, it really is the absolute best way to eat uh, especially if you're dealing with a health challenge or you want to lose weight. Uh, so I encourage you to stick with it. Well, I I used to use just this the straight low carb diet to get my keep my blood pressure under control. Did you and notice it, it did? that did, didn't work anymore? So I thought, okay. well, I'll kick it up and go to keto. Are, so, you know, we got a really bad little fuzzy thing happening on the phone. I don't know. Are you on a special phone, or maybe it's just me? Uh, are you on? A, uh, can you? Is this better? Much better. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, I'm well, going to run out of time here, so continue. I'll probably go back on the diet then. So you feel like it's a healthy way to eat? It is absolutely. It's a great way to eat. Stick with it and okay. see what you find out. Stick with it and see what, uh, what happens to you, and then call us back. Go through the three Will weeks do. or so. Okay, okay. good. Okay. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. I appreciate Th you. Take care. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. All right, let's go to uh, – uh, now everybody's calling me here. Ronald in Massachusetts, welcome to the Bright Side. Yeah, how you doing? 
doing good. Listen, I've got what's called diverticulitis. Okay. And I'm trying to figure out if I should do a colon cleanse. You what should you stop eating. The best colon cleanse is to stop eating. And by the way, diverticulitis is nothing, not a minor thing. As you, well, I'm sure you know, but for anybody listening, this is very serious business. Uh, you know, diverticulosis is when these little pockets in the intestine, uh, uh, they sort they, you get these pouches in the intestine, little pockets start to form. Diverticulitis is when it's infected, right? You got diverticulitis, you're saying, right? Yeah, right. Okay, that's a serious issue. Stop eating, my friend. That's what I would be doing. You got to give what? your digestive system a food holiday. You like okay. you like take do you like taking a vacation now and again, Ronald? Yeah, Probably. Yeah. We all do. Well, guess what? Your intestine does too. <laughs> you know, it, think about it. For most of us, our intestine never gets a break. And now they got these bonehead nutritionists telling people to eat six times a day to graze. Your intestine never gets a break. Yeah. So, so you give your intestine a break. Allow it to heal. So uh, how long should I go without eating? One day at a time? Uh... 40 days, like Jesus. No, I'm just kidding you. But the longer you go, the better off you'll be. Okay. You know? So two days, three days if you can. When you start to eat again, do liquids, soups. And then be very, very slowly introduce fiber. You got to be a little bit careful with fiber if you got these pouches. So yeah. very slowly introduce fiber into the diet. Right. Start doing vegetable juices. Maybe start off with without the fiber and kind of work yourself into the fiber. Okay. You need the fiber, but you got to be careful. And here I'm going to tell you, this is if you don't do anything but this, but you should do everything else. But if you don't do anything but this, you're still going to you'll go a long way towards improving your health. Probiotics right. and fermented foods probiotics and fermented foods. In fact, now that I think about it, start eating sauerkraut. You like sauerkraut? Yeah. Enjoy it. Make your own. Become okay. a sour be, become a, a, a fermented food genius. Get, get a book called The Art of Fermentation. It's real got tons of great recipes. A guy named Katz, KTZ wrote it. Right. And it's got tons of great recipes. Become a fermenter, a, a, a fermenting chef, if you will. Right. All right. And okay, drink a chicken soup, bone soup, and aloe vera. Okay. Lots of other things. But that, those, that's, a, that's a good start for you. Thanks, Ronald. Got to move. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, man. All right. Let's go to Gail in New Jersey. Welcome to the Bright Side, Gail. What's up? Hi, Ben. How you doing? Doing good. Um, I went to the doctor, the eye doctor, and he thinks that I have an ocular migraine, which is like blindness in one eye for like 30 minutes. But this past Friday... Um, it lasted almost, it was still lasting since Friday, the whole day. And I don't know if it's some of the products that I'm using. No, uh, it's not the products we are. Listen, here's the because deal. Because I'm doing selenium, I'm doing... First of uh, all, first of all, you said something very interesting. You didn't even know you said it, but I heard you say it. You all said, right. I, he said, he thinks it's an ocular <laughs> migraine. He thinks. Right. What is that? He thinks it's an ocular migraine. Well, that's how it was in the beginning. It was only thirty minutes. That's okay, fine. I'm just when teasing. I back, you know, it's like I'm, pe- I'm teasing. That's really the okay. de- that's what happens. I'm, I'm right. pulling your leg. But the idea is, he doesn't know. He doesn't even know what a migraine is. All right, here's what a migraine is. It's a reaction. All right. So when there's a reaction, what does that imply? That there's an action. Follow me. There's an action that precedes the reaction, and that's what you got to do, is find out what the action is that's preceding the reaction. You can call it a migraine or an ocular migraine. By the way, migraines happen in other parts of the body. An ocular migraine is a migraine of the eye. Mm-hmm. Most of us think migraines only happen in the head. They can happen in the eye, and it involves circulation. The same way it does in the, in the head, in the brain, it involves circulation in the eye. And it's a, it's a bouncing back and forth between vasodilation and vasocontraction that causes the migraine. Does that make You know what I mean when I say that? Blood vessels no, opening and closing. And oh. what is, okay, it's blood vessels opening and closing incorrectly. What happens is the blood vessels first open wide and then they close in reaction. And so you've got an opening and closing of blood vessel issue. The number one reason why this happens is because of something getting into the body, activating the emergency response system. It's a sign of an emergency. It involves the hormone estrogen, and it involves food. Those are the two major triggers. 
Now, there's some other things involved too, but those are the two major triggers, food and the hormone estrogen. The hormone estrogen is linked to food because your digestive system clears estrogen, so there's overlap. They're not even really two different things. Work on digestion, do a food diary, see if you can track down the migraines to specific foods you're eating, track it to your menstrual cycle, use estrogen. Uh, I'm going to give you a bunch of stuff here because I, I want to finish up some, some more phone calls, so I don't, you may want to listen to the archives. Balance out estrogen with pregnenolone, 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams a day. Use progesterone cream. See if you're noticing that you get a spike in estrogen uh, in your, either in your menstrual cycle or if you're eating inflammatory I'm foods. That cycle. What's that? You don't I'm have one? That cycle. You're past that, but you're still making estrogen. Yeah. Then you're not going to be able to. Are you have weight issues? Any, are you carrying a little weight? I know you got to be. No, a little weight, yes. I know you got to be. Come on, come on. Yeah. So here's the estrogen's made in fat. I'm not picking on you there. I'm just telling you, estrogen's made in fat. And the more fat you're carrying, the more estrogen you're making. Do you have your gallbladder? Yes. Okay, good. So use fat metabolizing nutrients, lecithin digestive enzymes, pancreatic enzymes, uh, probiotics, eat fermented foods, do a food diary, eliminate problem foods. Focus on foods and estrogen. Those are your two. And use selenium, vitamin A, and vitamin E, all of which can balance out estrogen. I hope I gave you, I hope I gave you, uh, didn't overwhelm you there. Well, this There's, is what my husband uh, tells me too, because he listens to you constantly. He probably so said the same thing. Right did on. he say, did he tell you what, what I just said? Did I tell you what I just oh, said? He did. He does. Okay. He there you go. You know the food. answer. It's you know, he didn't say anything about selenium or anything L like that. The, the most important thing is action-reaction. Do you see how I said that? Action, reaction. Reaction. So there's an action that's triggering the reaction. The migraines are a reaction. Have a beautiful day, Gail. I'm glad you called. Yes, you Thank too. you. Thank you. Okay, take Bye. care. Bye-bye. All right, call the truth raider. You are one patient man. What's going on? <laughs> oh, it's oh, two What's, questions. Two yes. questions very important. You're yes, talking sir. about the ketogenic diet. Yes, sir. No. I have a strong craving for seafood salad. Just imitation crab, a little bit of a shrimp yeah. in there too, as well. Yeah, the and imitation I'm crab. I'm always a little suspicious of imitation crab, imitation animal stuff. Well, it's made it's made by with white fish. I think that's they what say, it is. but the, how do they stick it all together? And I'm I'm, I, I don't, I don't I'm a little suspicious. They use an okay. enzyme actually called transglutaminase, which is a, an enzyme that's um, in, involved in melting protein. They melt the protein and they stick it all together. It's kind of a well, weird I'm thing. Craving it. Is it a, is it a protein. reliable source for no. vitamin A? No. Absolutely. There may be some in there, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's a reliable source. There's probably a little bit. It's a, reliable, it's a source of protein, but there's better sources of protein. Get my bone broth protein. Go to, uh, or Slender FX from Longevity. Do whey protein or bone broth protein. Your body's probably craving protein, Carl the Truth Raider, which is okay. not, it, it, most of us need more protein. All okay. right, I got to go, Carl. Thank you for your call, man. I'll need to right. call you for the other question then. I'll need to call you on. on call, yeah, give us a call tomorrow. All right, that's okay. all the time we have for today. Thank you, Carl. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're in Chicago in the Glendale Heights, uh, Glendale Heights, Illinois area, hope to see you tomorrow. Uh, I'll be doing a talk for Mike Bedolf. And uh, you can get on, I think, brightsideben.com and get more information. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.